Uh, I'm going to show you also how to uh, take cuttings um, a couple of ways. The first thing we need is a compost suitable for doing cuttings and personally I prefer to use a, a mixture of two parts multi-purpose compost and it's basically peat based with one part of vermiculite. So we need to put a mixture on the on of two parts compost one two and one part vermiculite now a medium vermiculite is the best and give it a mix And we can then fill a tray and uh, just level it off with a piece of wood. When it's like this then, it wants watering. So what I normally do is I place it in another tray and put some water in the bottom and let it soak up. And I will forget that for 24 hours and place the cuttings, start doing the cuttings the next day. And just like they do in the oven, I've got one that I did yesterday. We now want to plant to take the cuttings off. Now I'm going to show you two ways to do this. Um, first of all, we'll take a leaf off. And don't take an old leaf, nor a very young one, but we want one that's medium age. We then take the tip off. Don't throw it away because we'll use that one after. We trim the ends and take the centre rib out. Like so. Use a very sharp blade for this. So we, we end up with two halves and a centre rib. Centre rib can be discarded. We then want to put a groove into the tray of compost that we did before. So we put a groove across the tray, round about half an inch deep, four or five centimetres. We place, we place the, the leaves in and just stop them falling over. And we put a certain variety in there. So we put the label in because we don't want the blue one coming up pink and the pink one coming up blue. We then know what it is. We can then do others and fill the tray up. We'd probably get four rows in this tray. Now to go back to the tips, if you can use a five, about a five inch pot, three quarters fill it with compost. Trim them off with um, a pair of scissors or cutters, uh, but they need to be trimmed with a sharp blade because the scissors will give them a rough edge. So we just trim the edges off nicely and with our pot of uh, ready mixed compost. We put a, again a groove in and just plant one in each. Groove the other way, plant a leaf. Groove another way, 
plant the leaf. So we end up with three nice cuttings in there. We want a label to tell us what it is. And then we cover this with either cling film or polythene. Just cover it round and elastic band round the top. Now that should not need watering for at least a month, but it will need checking periodically. The condensation on the top, all you need to do periodically is pick the pot up, just tap on the sides and the condensation will go down the sides. It would be best to put it in a propagator at this time of the year and all being well, 12 to 14 weeks later we will have young shoots, young plants ready to take off. So, in 14 weeks time, please watch this space and we will be taking the young plants off. The same applies to the tray we did earlier, again in a propagator if possible.